Happy Saturday. I am hoping that this tripod stays where it's supposed to because it keeps flopping around on me. Um, today, I thought I'd do something different again. I personally hate to cook. When I met Jeff, I told him my name was not Betty Crocker and I didn't cook. And when I worked out for so many years in an office and I'd come home in the evening and I was tired, we ate out a lot. Um, I wondered how you guys would like to have a few quick, simple, easy recipes once in a while that have been used here. Um, the first one I've got is so easy. It's four ingredients and it's really, really, really good. It's, ha it's meatloaf. All you do is get a pound of hamburger or if you're like my 87 year old dad, you get a pound of turkey burger and you get an eight to 10 ounce jar of chunky salsa. We like the medium, breadcrumbs and an egg. And Jeff likes to put barbecue sauce on the top of it. So, you know, that's if you do, if you don't. All you do is just stir up a pound of meat, hamburger, turkey burger, an eight to 10 ounce jar of chunky salsa, breadcrumbs, and an egg. You bake it in an oven, 375, for 45 to 50 minutes. And it's got all your spices in it. It is so good. I guarantee if you like meatloaf, you would like it. So that's my recipe for the day. <laughs> Um, I have little Luke today with us. He's over here in his nest and he's in his Winnie Pooh outfit. I'm thinking, I, I don't know, I haven't decided. I'm thinking maybe about getting him rerouted because I'd really like to have really, really good straight baby hair on him. Um, I just don't know yet. I haven't decided. That's up in the air. I found someone that will do it and she's very, very good. Um, she actually teaches uh, and has classes for reborning, silicones, rooting. So tell me what you think, guys. Should I do it or should I not? Well, the mailman just come. If you heard a bang, that was our, our mailbox. Um, today I wondered how do you store your baby shoes? I thought I'd show you mine. I have a box. It's one of those decorative boxes. It's a big one. These are the little booties that Mel sent when, when I got Luke. They are so soft and so cute. I love these. I just put them up here. Um, I have the box and I got a box of Ziploc baggies, quart size. And I put the shoes in the baggies, zip them up, and put them in here, in the box. Uh, some of them will hold two shoes. These, these were pricey shoes. Um, so these two are European and, and they were a little pricey, so I put them in their own bags. Um, real simple, get a bag. Unzip it. Put the shoes in. And not only does it just look neat, but also you don't have to go digging in the box for, you know, the other pair. These are zero three, and you can get two shoes in a bag. I love these shoes. Oh my gosh. I think I paid a little bit for them too. I, I got them online. These are so cute. Let's show you. I really want to get the little bells for them. Hey, if you know where to get, you remember the, the little bells that they used to have on our shoes back in the 60s and 70s? Please, 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 if you know where to get those, leave me a comment. I love, oops, I'm out of, I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm out of my mind is what I'm out of today. I'm not thinking right. 
But um, I, I do, I love these shoes. And I was gonna say I was out of frame, I'm sorry. I need to pay better attention. But um, those shoes too, they're in a bag all by themselves. So while I've got you here, I'm gonna go ahead and put these shoes in a bag. These are little suede shoes. I got these from So Love, they're so cute. They're, um, I don't know, they're kind of a, a taupey, mauve-ish color, and they're suede. Really cute. So, we'll put these in here. These are newborn. But that's okay, it doesn't matter because they're all in a box together. Well, anyway, I just have a couple more to fix, so that's that. Um, I heard that Ohio is going to warm up next week. We're going to have a heat wave, so that's good. I'm gonna enjoy that. I can't believe it. I'm at almost 160 subscribers, and about two or three weeks ago, I had 109. Guys, it means the world to me that you are subscribing, and you're coming over, and you're commenting, and I'm getting to slowly know you guys. It's hard for me to remember names. I'm trying to write it down in a book. Um, oops, there's a phone, sorry. Another telemarketer. That's only the third or fourth one this morning. Um, I just, I really do. I wanna thank you and tell you how much it means to me. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed and you have it in your heart, I would really appreciate it leave me a comment and I will also subscribe to your channel. I may be a little bit slow. I'm starting to get overwhelmed with everything, but it's fun and I enjoy it. I've also been told by several of you that you really enjoy the devotionals. And I read this book, a daily devotional every day. So before I sign out, I thought I would read February 19th devotional for the day. You are feeling weighed down by a plethora of problems, both big and small. They seem to require more and more of your attention, but you must not give in to those demands. When the difficulties in your life feel as if they're closing in on you, break free by spending quality time with me. You need to remember who I am in all my power and glory then humbly bring me your prayers and petitions. Your problems will pale when you view them in the light of my presence. You can learn to be joyful in me, your savior, even in the, in the midst of adverse circumstances. Rely on me, your strength. I make your feet like the feet of a deer, enabling you to go on the heights. Here's the Bible verses that go with the devotional today. I'll leave this up here for a minute. And um, I was also asked what book I, I get these devotionals from. So I'm going to show you the cover here in a minute. Um, this is a very special book to me. My, as you know, my mother passed away December 13th. And a very special friend of ours that were, was in the facility where she lived, um, they were in assisted living together. Um, her daughter actually brought this to mom after her mom passed away a few years ago. And Susie loved this book. Um, I can see why, but it is a very, very special book. This is the book. It's called Jesus Calling and Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. It's a leather book. I noticed at the Christian bookstore not long ago, they also have this in a bigger book with bigger print. Um, it's just a really, really nice book and it has really nice daily devotionals. So guys, I guess that's pretty much it for the day. Again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. I thank you. I hope you have a blessed Saturday, and I probably will see you tomorrow. So, guys, 
Thank you again. Bye-bye.